Uh, and one thing that uh, isn't nice whenever it's snowy or any other time, of course, is when you look around your nice countryside and find plastic bags in every hedge. But could Northern Ireland be about to become a bit greener? Uh, Sinn Féin MLA Dahi Mackay hopes so. He's introducing a private member's bill in the Assembly, which, if passed, would see a 15p levy on all plastic bags used here. He's on the line, as is Roger Pollan from the Federation of Small Business. Um, Dahi Mackay, um, do you think this will go through. I mean, Edwin Poots had made it clear before that he thought that would disadvantage the people who um, were most vulnerable. Well, we first raised this issue in the Assembly when in 2008, uh, when we placed the motion before uh, the Chamber. Uh, and at that time, the Assembly backed uh, a plastic bag that I, uh, it wasn't for a particular price. But can I say, for, for the DEP and uh, from the Minister's perspective as well, they haven't actually ruled out uh, of any plastic bags either. This bed is uh, dependent on the conditions of our housing and the, uh, the number of plastic bags used every year uh, changes. So I think it's something which could be passed uh, by the Assembly by March. Uh, and if it is uh, supported by the Assembly, it will be in place by the summer of 2011. Why do you think it's necessary? Are people not self-limiting now? You do see more people going out to do their shopping with shopping bags and those various, you know, bag for life and what have you? Well, last year, for example, when the supermarkets handed out two million plastic bags, that's the equivalent of 100 bags per person. Uh, and it's estimated that around 400 million of these bags go to land uh, from uh, consumers in the north each and every year. So it's an absolutely huge problem. Uh, it hasn't been addressed by voluntary uh, initiatives by supermarkets uh, and retailers. Uh, and I think if you look at the example in the south, for example, uh, that, that they have quite successfully uh, reduced the number of plastic bags. The public view it uh, very much as a successful uh, initiative and it is something which uh, has public support because the proceeds of, of that particular uh, uh, initiative uh, goes towards uh, environmental measures that were uh, considering and what I've included in the bill uh, for the distribution of the funds raised uh, by the levy. Uh, if this goes to some sort of environmental project, we haven't ruled out uh, 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 making sure that the funds go towards something like the Green New Deal housing fund. Uh, and if it go, does go towards that, it, it, it could fund the majority of the money needed uh, for that particular project, right. which uh, is intent on ensuring that there's an energy retrofit of 100,000 homes over three years and will also provide employment for between two and three thousand. Okay. Roger, Roger Pollan's on the line too from the Federation of Small Business. I mean, that sounds like uh, it could be a good idea. Would you be in favour of it? This is one of these very interesting issues where I think the business uh, finds itself in, uh, you know, sharing the objective of reducing litter and reducing waste, but it's another regulation being proposed for businesses to adopt. And I suppose would raise, the first question I would raise is, is the bag tax intended to be a reminder to people to stop using uh, disposable bags? Or is it to raise revenue, as Dathy's suggesting there, because he's obviously talking about vast amounts of money, or is it to punish well, people for failing to use their bags? And it seems to me that um, it, it's another measure that you're looking to, uh, for business to adopt, uh, and effectively another cost in doing business at a time when they can really do without that sort of thing, and we're in danger of polluting the business environment with red tape rather than with plastic bags. Is that not uh, a point, Dahi Mackay? You know, things are difficult enough. We heard uh, on the news this morning that retail is going to be hard hit north and south of the border. Uh, you know, if you're talking about uh, millions of, of plastic bags, you're talking about large sums of money that people are going to have to pay out at 15p a time. Well, we have already sort of widely on this, Wendy, and you know, one of the figures uh, which we find quite stark uh, is the fact that retailers spend around 80 million pounds a year for plastic bags themselves. So we would like to see that particular figure uh, go down and reduce. But we are always obviously uh, cognizant of the economic situation we're in. We're cognizant of the pressures that retailers are under. Uh, and in the consultation, uh, we asked the question, uh, should retailers receive some form of remuneration when they're putting this particular uh, system in place for collecting uh, the, the levy. So the, the response to that was that they should receive some sort of remuneration. Uh, and when the levy is collected and put into the Central Environmental Fund, one of the first things that will be done with that money, well, some of the money will be uh, siphoned off uh, to uh, compensate uh, retailers for that particular work. Okay, 
Okay, well, we'll see what my listeners think of all of this. Uh, Roger Poole and Dahi Mackay, thanks both of you very much indeed. Eh?